Well, ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Destiny. Coming to us straight from Club Access in York, Pennsylvania. Weighing in tonight at 260 pounds, he is the sexiest man alive, Eddie Valentine. So, brother, uh, I'm hurting all over. That tank did a did job on you. Now I come to the ring, man, Eddie Valentine, the sexiest man alive, accompanied by Miss Destiny. I'm taking I'm the sexy sexy. I don't feel born the sexiest man alive. This guy right here, he gives me a drink in the morning. And I'm not going to pretend like I'm not this guy's tag partner from time to time. I'm not going to act like I'm not this guy's confidant from time to time. But right now in Valor, I do my thing, he does his thing, and right now, he is the sexiest man. I don't... <laughs> you have me in a loss for words for that one, uh, Mr. Bliss. But I do have to say that Eddie Valentine is one of the top wrestlers in Valor Pro Wrestling right now. He keeps making his run the way he's making his run. We might see some gold in this future. So let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. He's, he's not just good and great in Valor. He's great in the independence. He's great in the world. This man has trained people like, you know, I, I'm not going to dr name drop, but let's just say a lot of trainers. A lot. So what do you have to say about Eddie Franklin, man? Fast, fast Eddie Franklin. He is exactly that. He has gotten some very unbelievable wins in Valor here as of late. Um, he was able to win that Battle Royal at the Aiden Show. Shocked everybody. Well, that, that's kind of why we're here tonight in this match. Because the guy he eliminated was the sexiest man alive. Eddie Valentine. Yeah, he has a real big ego. I do have to admit that.
Eddie Valentine actually had a few good things to say about Eddie Frank, and I'm not exactly sure that they were real. But uh, he said that he felt as though the kid was hungry, and, you know, he had everything going for him, but he just didn't feel as though he was as hungry as uh, it, his his hunger was as big as Eddie Valentine's ego, you know, and that's true. So we're going to start this up, and we're going to see what these two do. Okay, we got a power and elbow tie up. Eddie Valentine starts it off in an arm bar. Stand, er, into a hammer lock now. Valentine looking. Now he switches it up into a side headlock. Yeah. Alright, Eddie Franken fires off Valentine into the ropes. Leapfrog. Wow, a cartwheel from Eddie Valentine. That is uh, very unusual, but his agility surprises me for such a uh, rotund, uh, uh, portly, <laughs> maybe I don't know, but well, he he uh, he definitely he definitely shapes a textbook cartwheel. Yeah, step over. Leapfrog, Eddie Franken. Oh, and it follows it up with a nice drop kick. Has Valentine retreating into the corner. And uh that was hey, in the cartwheel there. That was a that was a uh, fall on the back, brother. Yes it was. And um Valentine said Franken's gonna earn his paycheck. Well so far he's earning it, if you want my opinion. Alright, we've got another car over tie up. Oh and Eddie Valentine up to his usual manix. Knee to the stomach, clubbing, uh, for, clubbing blow to the back, a couple of right hands to the side of the head. Valent Valentine has Franken visibly dazed, fires him off into the corner. Franken reverses it by setting himself on the middle turnbuckle. And a tor no, went for a tornado DDT and he blocked it. Eddie Valentine, airplane spin into a backbreaker. Oh my. Uh, rolls into the cover here. One, two, no. You, you notice that Eddie's trying to take away, uh, excuse me, I guess I should have pointed out. Valentine's trying to take away Eddie Franken's uh, high flying tendencies by keeping him grounded. You know, he's working on that back, so you know, he can't use his back, he can't use his legs to climb the uh, ring apron or, or, or the turnbuckles and the And he's kind of trying to ground him. Grounding you know, pound versus the high pound. Franken lays in a couple of shots in the midsection. Oh my god. What a vicious clothesline by Valentine on the All Star. Fast Eddie Franken turned him inside out, rolls into the cover. One, two. That clothesline about took his head off. Loves that uh, slam to the head into that turn. turnbuckle. Yeah, he about ripped his face off too. Irish whip, far corner. Franken back up on the middle rope. Oh, that was a stiff right hand by Valentine. Franken, is, he is just that. He is fast. One, two. That's off the cross body, off the second turnbuckle. You know, I think this kid may be. Uh, what maybe 18 19 by now but you know something like that he's out there man and he's working against these older guys and and you know he's he's kind of using his speed against their age and their wit you know and uh i think this kid has a bright bright future he has a bright bright future you're you're exactly right um he's just got to watch out for some of the craftier veterans though because that uh youth and quickness is only going to get it so far now, when you when you say craftier veterans, I guess that would go for someone like a Andy Weinberg also. I mean, yeah. Andy Weinberg may not be in the ring; he may not be an opponent, but uh, you might need you know your your uh, cunning and your speed just to get away from him. You know, just not to get stuck in his nonsense and, and mind control, so to speak. I almost think this guy's a brainwash. They're definitely drinking some kind of cool aid from him. Oh, Franken and uh, Fast Eddie and Valentine are just... The chop that they're just delivering to each other is just bone-shattering. 
Valentine with a display of power. Wow, look at that. That's impressive. I mean, first he should Oh, he dropped him like a bad habit off that military press slam. He's showing me a lot of stuff tonight. I mean, he showed me the cartwheel with the agility and the power from the military press. Uh, two count right there. A uh, Fast Eddie able to kick out, barely kick out. You know, every time Fast Eddie thinks he has uh, <laughs> Valentine, uh, he, he reverses it. Just like uh, the same goes for uh, Valentine. Every time uh, he thinks he got Eddie, he pulls it out. Yes, Daddy, high cross body off the top rope. No! Look, Valentine rolls through and picks him up. The power from Eddie Valentine tonight is just amazing. Oh! Face breaker. That was a uh, windmill type reverse Russian leg sweep. That was almost a, that was almost a uh, DDT, a swinging face first DDT. Almost. Yeah, almost. No, that, it, it, I've seen people do swinging rock bottoms, but that was the first time I've seen that face first. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Actually, it was. And it took a toll on me. Uh, yes, it did take a toll on me. It, it may have taken just as much toll on me. Eddie Valentine, yeah. Getting, uh, getting around there. Those guys, oh, 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 and Bruce Delaney just got caught inadvertently from a spear by Fast Eddie. I think, I think I might not be so, I might not be so, so surprised that the referee got speared that I am that leapfrog by Eddie Valentine. <laughs> the agility and the power of display, of display from uh, Eddie Valentine tonight. I is think just, Valentine injured his knee also. I, yeah, I think he, he, his knee when he went up. I think he might have blew his knee. He, Either he either twisted his knee or he blew out his kneecap. Yeah, he, he's, he's a, then again, I don't know. Eddie Valentine's always been that. Uh, see that crafty, that that wise craftiness. Being the veteran that he is, he lured Eddie Franken in, and yeah, the referee's he's still, still down. The referee is still down. Referee Bruce Delaney. Uh, I think he could count to 100 if we actually had a referee in here right now because uh, that swinging neck breaker, Eddie Valentine, just put Franken on his back. Well, if you figure that Franken actually started in the corner and he ran full blast like he was going to uh, take out Valentine and uh, he took out the referee. <coughs> and that's a young kid. Oh, last year. Small, small package. package. One, two, three. And there it is. And this is why he is called Fast Eddie Franken. Because just out of nowhere, he could roll you up into a three count. There he is, your winner. Fast Eddie Franken. Yeah, that was a brutal, brutal match. I'm going to tell you what, man. This kid, yeah. I really, I really as long as he, As long as he keeps his head on his shoulders and doesn't let anybody uh, brainwash him or he would be uh, convinced into drinking the Kool-Aid, so to speak. I think this kid's got a bright future, not only in Valor, but all over the NBC. I'll tell you what, man. With, with Valentine and uh, uh, Eddie Franken and, and uh, guys like uh, Motley 2, all these newer guys that came in, these guys are freaking awesome, man. Valor is just, we have the top performers in this area. Every single shift. And Eddie Valentine has actually extended his hand to Fast Eddie. You know, maybe yeah, it's a trick. Maybe, maybe, it's it's, maybe, it, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Wow, that was a display of sportsmanship. That's kind of shocking for Eddie Valentine. Wow. He may be turning over a new leaf. Yeah, no. It, listen, I doubt. I think I think he went out there, he said some things, he put the kid down a little bit, he, he told everyone that he didn't think the kid was that great and that he could you know, he couldn't hold any weight in there with him. The kid did. And you know, for a change, Eddie's actually eating a little bit of crow. That's it. 